The quest for more complete knowledge of our planet and the universe that it orbits in has ignited many amazing discoveries throughout the years. In fact, some of the things that scientists have uncovered or accomplished over the years are so astounding as to sound almost unbelievable. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three incredible discoveries and how they enhanced our understanding of the remarkable world in which we live. A fire in Australia has been burning for 6,000 years. When you think of long-lasting natural landmarks that have been around for thousands of years, the first thing to come to mind might be Mount Everest or the Thames. What you might not think of is a fire, but surprisingly, an enormous coal seam fire known as Burning Mountain is currently flaming underneath Australia and has likely been doing so for thousands upon thousands of years. Burning Mountain, located deep underground below Mount Wingan in New South Wales, is at first glance just a standard coal seam fire, which is a rather common phenomenon. In fact, at any given point in time, scientists estimate that there are several thousand such fires blazing below ground across the world. These fires ignite within the natural coal layer and grow to an unstoppable and inextinguishable smolder as they consume the coal seam. Because these ignite underground, there is no flame, rather a boiling hot ember that quickly rages through the abundant fuel available. So, if subterranean fires are rather commonplace, what makes the burning mountain fire so interesting to scientists? The simple answer is that its sheer age and size sets it well apart from the other known examples of cold seam fires, although its exact measurements can only be guessed. On the surface, the only evidence of a massive underground fire is the ashy area stretching through an otherwise idyllic eucalyptus forest in the Australian National Park. Moving at a rate of about one metre a year, the path of the burning mountain fire can be traced back for decades, as once the fire moves on, the forest returns, albeit in a slightly altered state. Guillermo Rain, a professor of fire science at Imperial College London, described his observations of the phenomenon in an interview, saying that ahead of the fire, where it hasn't arrived, you see this beautiful eucalyptus forest. Where the fire is now, there's absolutely nothing alive, not even grass. And where the fire was 20 to 30 years ago, the forest has come back, but it's a different forest. The fire has shaped the landscape. And while two or three decades might seem like an unbelievably long time for a fire to be burning, the incredible reality is that a couple of decades is only a flash of time in the life of this ancient fire, which some experts estimate to be over 6,000 years old, while others claim that it is so much older. Although modern-day coal seam fires are inadvertently ignited because of human mining operations in the seams, nobody is certain what could have led to the first spark being lit at Burning Mountain all those thousands of years ago, although natural causes are the most likely explanation. The first recorded observation of the fire was in 1828 by a local farmer, and the region was identified as a coal seam fire the following year. In total, the path of the fire has covered over six kilometers throughout the course of its ancient life, and the area is even regarded as sacred by the Wanarua people who historically used the warm, lifeless ground for cooking and crafting weapons. As mysterious as Burning Mountain is, unfortunately it is likely to remain so for the near future, as there are limits to what researchers can study about it. For now, it is simply an ancient and mystifying tourist attraction deep below Mount Wingen. China's artificial sun just hit 120 million degrees for 20 minutes. It seems that humans are manufacturing everything these days, and now scientists have set their sights on nothing less than the sun itself and appear to be making rather impressive progress. Researchers in China working on what they are calling an artificial sun have broken new records after generating temperatures five times hotter than our own sun for almost 20 minutes. Their nuclear fusion reactor, called the Experimental Advanced Superconducting Tokamak, or EAST, 
was able to reach and maintain an almost unbelievable temperature of 70 million degrees Celsius for over 1,000 seconds. This was over two and a half times longer than the previous record, which was achieved by a French tokamak that managed to sustain temperatures of 120 million degrees Celsius for 390 seconds in 2003. For reference, the hottest part of the Sun, the core, only reaches 15 million degrees Celsius. The East was able to reach such impressive temperatures by superheating plasma within a magnetic reactor chamber in order to trigger the same nuclear fusion process that powers stars. Previous attempts to achieve these temperatures had failed because keeping the plasma within the coil long enough for the fusion reaction to occur proved incredibly difficult. And once temperatures similar to those found in the Sun were reached, Harnessing that power without melting the chamber or disrupting the fusion reaction became even more tricky. Yet, even as EAST was able to achieve such record-setting temperatures, scientists are using it as a stepping stone to even larger fusion reactions, which will soon be put to the test within the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor in Marseille, France. Although attempting to generate an artificial sun might seem like a pointless pursuit, the opposite is true, and this is just one of the latest advancements in the search for unlimited clean energy. Fusion reactions such as the ones used to power EAST are one of the latest tools that scientists are using to attempt to harness the immense amount of energy produced during the nuclear fusion process that powers stars for millions of years at a time. Even more important, this process produces immense amounts of power and energy without the harmful byproducts such as greenhouse gases and radioactive waste that many of our current methods release. Although the EAST project alone will have cost China upwards of 700 billion pounds by the time of its completion later this year, finding a source of clean energy through the development of nuclear fusion reactors is a pursuit that could pay off tenfold in the future, and it looks like the country is already well on its way towards realizing that dream. Titan's Kraken Mare Lake is ten times deeper than previously thought. One of the tricky parts of astronomy is that very few places in the solar system can be directly observed and documented. Most of our knowledge comes from calculations and estimates based off satellite images, which means that often we have to revise our previous conclusions as new information comes forth. In one such case, Scientists looking over the data collected from NASA's now-defunct Cassini mission of Saturn realized that their previous calculations regarding the Kraken Mare Lake found on Saturn's large moon Titan were incorrect. Early interpretations of the data suggested that the lake was at least 35 meters deep, but recent updated calculations placed the figure at around 10 times that, estimating it to be closer to 300 meters deep. For context, if this lake was placed on Earth, it would entirely engulf all five of the Great Lakes of North America. The study of Titan has long fascinated scientists and astronomers, as the large moon has often revealed hints that it could contain some of the necessary precursors to life, so any new information regarding its composition is of great interest to researchers. After updating their calculations regarding the sheer size of Kraken Mare, Scientists now believe that an estimated 80% of the surface liquids found on Titan are contained within the depths of this single lake, making it a vital point of study. Titan stands out among the other planets and moons within our solar system, and the newly discovered properties of Kraken Mare only add to its uniqueness. Composed of mostly swampy regions of ethane and methane and cloaked in a thick nitrogen atmosphere that is unusual for a moon. Titan has always been an anomaly and a point of fascination within the solar system. But discovering that Kraken Mare was not only much, much larger than previously thought, but was also composed of a strange mix of methane and ethane was a shock to researchers. Previously, it was hypothesized that the lake was mostly full of ethane, and this new information was surprising as such a chemical composition in relation to the moon's poles was considered highly unlikely. However, this also sheds light on the mysterious precipitation cycle found on Titan and will hopefully help researchers understand 
where the large amounts of methane found on the planet originate from. The abundant methane is a source for many chemical reactions on the Moon, but it is projected that Titan will burn through its methane supply within 10 million years, an incredibly brief time in the life of a Moon. Although reframing our understanding of Kraken Mare answered many lingering questions about Titan, it also raised several more, and astronomers are eager to conduct further studies to help resolve these questions. Currently, there are plans to attempt to launch a submarine into the lakes of Titan in order to gain a more complete understanding of the planet's complexities. But such a project will take years to come to fruition, and for now we must simply wait for more answers to arise. But what do you make of these incredible discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.